Hey, Bearded Hoosier here. Uh, going along with what I was talking about on the last video, how I'm kind of showing uh, the things that I do outside of motorcycles and everything else, I thought I'd do a quick vid on uh, how it is that I do what I do after I do a show. Um, and so I will actually um, go down over here. Um, let's do. Well, I know I had a couple of people asking me uh, how it is that I go about processing the photos and everything after a show. Um, and so I will show you that real quick. So this is the uh, this is the Slipknot show, as you can see. And obviously, um, I cannot show you every uh, photo that is on here. But let's just pick one. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one right here. Nah, that's not good. Let's go with this one. All right. So looking at this photo, this is Corey Taylor. He is uh, the lead singer of Van Slipknot. And uh, if I was to be using this photo, keep in mind I've already sent all the uh, all the photos to uh, the publisher. But if I was to take this photo and uh, want to get it ready for publication. Um, there's some things I'd want to do to it first. Uh, first thing is I'm going to kind of adjust some of the colors a little bit. Kind of take out some of the magenta just a little. Uh, magenta is a pretty harsh color when it comes to digital photos. Um, so I try to Try to take that out as much as I can. Um, then I go up here to dehaze. Now you can see that um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the stage has you know the smoke in it because they, they pump in smoke. Um, so what I like to do is actually just kind of turn down the dehaze. And what I've done is I've actually hit the uh, the uh, option button on the keyboard. I'm running a Mac. So I try to turn that down just a little bit. Um, by doing the option button, it gives me a better view of what I'm looking at. Um, and then I'm also going to add just a little bit of texture back in. And then, because if you look right there on his head, it's really, really super bright. Uh, so then I take that and I just kind of turn it down just a little. Uh, brings back a little more definition. Um, might adjust the shadows a little bit, but not much. Actually, take them down just a smidge. Um, and then the whites. I don't like a lot of white on the photo because if I'm seeing white when I'm hitting the option key like this, uh, that means the picture is generally getting blown out in that area. So I try to take the white out. Um, and then I take my blacks and depending on how it's looking uh, as you can tell the the blacks and the dehaze as well as the shadow all pretty much use the same uh, part of the algorithm or whatever um, so I do that and I'll adjust it I don't want it too dark but I do like uh, some infinite black especially right there in his coat and his jacket his coat and his shirt um, it's obviously in the shadow so it's going to be dark in there um, so just keeping it as natural as I can. I don't mess with the temperature or the tint too much, but in this case, I think I might just lighten up the blue just a little, and then I'm going to turn down the magenta and more towards the green, just a tad. Now, you probably can't see it, but I can see it because I've been looking at photos like these for years. Uh, there is a little bit of noise um, uh, in the photo. Um, I did take the photo, let's see, it shot at 2500 ISO, um, 55 millimeter, and 1 125th of a second. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to put some noise reduction on there. That's just going to smooth it out just a little. 
All right. And then I'm going to put a little more detail back into the things I need the detail in. So if you can see like his hand, his mask, his face, his microphone, it's all nice and still in sharp detail. And then this masking, the sharpening mask, what that does is that takes out all of the things that I don't want sharp. All right. So you can see, obviously, as I'm holding down the option key, that it actually uh, keeps things that I want sharpened outlined in white. So it kind of looks like a pencil drawing. Um, but if I reduce it, it adds more, right? So there's all the dust in the air and everything else. And when I bring it down, you can see all the, the spit and the liquid in the air from him singing. So let's take some of that out of there. And boom, there you got that. And then my little contribution beyond that is uh, every photographer has their little their little ways of doing things, but uh, I like to I like to draw you in to the photo uh, as you're looking at it. So I put just a little bit of a vignette, only about a 19. It's not enough to really cause much of anything, but it is enough to. You know, just kind of draw your eyes into the middle. So that's how I do that. Um, let's actually go down and look at a band that I shot uh, a couple of days before. Uh, let's go down here where they are. There they are. All right, so this is a band called Mean Genius. They are a uh, Seattle band. So what I'm actually going to do with this one is I'm going to... We're going to adjust it, so we're going to crop it just a little. Just going to bring it in. And I'm going to bring it down just a little. So that's going to be the focal point. It's just Tony. Boom, right there. All right. Going back and uh, doing the same thing. We're going to go down here to uh, my calibration. I'm not going to do too much because I'm, I'm really liking the color that is coming through. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Then uh, come back up here to dehaze and we're just going to dehaze just a little. Just like that. Kind of brings Tony out a little bit more. Add a little texture. And then uh, go down here to the blacks. Is that black up there in the up there in the corner? That's pretty black. So and then we're gonna turn down the whites as much as we can, which is all the way. You can see down here in the corner it's still really blown out, but that's okay. We're gonna take care of that. We're gonna go down here. And boop, there we go. Done. And then the shadows. Not uh, gonna really do too much. Maybe just turn it down just a little. All right, so Tony's still pretty dark right here. So actually what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select Tony, all right? Select the subject. Then I'm actually going to take away from the subject a little bit because when I selected Tony, it also selected the monitor speaker down here. And I think it, nope, that was it. So now that I got Tony and just Tony uh, highlighted, then I'm going to go back up here to the mask and just that mask. And I'm going to bring it up just a little. So you can see right there in Tony's face how it's lighting up quite a bit. So I can crank it up and that doesn't look natural at all. But if I was to bring it up just a little, you can tell how it's bringing up the shadows in his shirt. And his pants a little bit and lights his face up just a tad but it's not so much that it's hugely hugely noticeable all right so i did that and then i'll go back down here to detail and yeah got the 45 which is pretty much where i want it and we're gonna throw some masking on there you see the you can see the smoke up there in the top left uh, being affected in the light so we're going to bring that just right there that is pretty good i like that 
And then uh, go down here. Put a little, little vignette. And that's it. That is how I edit photos for concerts and shows. Hope this uh, was kind of fun and informative. I like doing it. So, anyway, uh, you guys uh, go ahead and have a great day. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. It's a beautiful day out right now in the Seattle area. I mean, it is a beautiful day. It's, uh, I'm guessing, somewhere in 65 or low 70s. So, looks like the sun has officially arrived in the Seattle area. So, anyway, get out there. Go ride your ride. Have a good day. Stay vigilant. Be careful. All right? Keep two wheels down. All right. Much love. Bye.